Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So uh, in today's video, I'm going to be uh, sharing with you guys um, what I eat in a day. So uh, this is actually a trending topic on the internet and uh, also it's fun to watch what one eats uh, uh, during the day. So I, at least I enjoy watching these kind of videos. So I thought why not make one. Come with me and let's check out what I eat in a day. So normally when I wake up in the morning, I'm not a morning person at all. So I kind of wake up at uh, uh, about half past eight um in the morning and i drink a glass of uh, hot water um i really don't like uh, any uh, other ways of drinking what i really like to drink hot water all of the time throughout the day so i just drink it up and you can also have hot water with apple cider vinegar or a lemon or honey or whatever is your choice but apparently it's really good for your uh, health uh, in general but i personally don't like it so i really like just to drink up just water i eat uh, oats porridge like every day i know it's very boring but i eat it every single day um that there might be two reasons for that one i really like oats porridge the second one is i'm lazy to make anything else so it's also really healthy and it contains a lot of fiber in it so i think you know that's a good um a thing to have in the morning uh, and it also fills your tummy so that's a great thing so normally at about nine o'clock uh i have my oats porridge or sometimes at 10. I know it's bad to have a late breakfast, but uh, I at least try and have it before 10. So let me show you how I uh, make it. I use this uh, brand uh, called Arnold's Farm, Farm uh, Porridge Sashes. Um, you can use anything actually. Like I also like Quaker Oats. They come in like this um, sachet. So you empty the contents of the sachet in a bowl and uh, add uh, some milk. So I use full fat milk. So it's, a, it's up to you if you want to use skim milk or anything of that sort. So you just have to pour in a little bit. Like I normally fill it up till here and then just uh, pour it. That's just my measure. You can do it either runny or thick. It's up to you. Uh, and then once I... Um, mix it then i put it in the microwave and for two and a half minutes and then once it's done i um, add in a teaspoon of uh, honey uh, and then some chopped um, strawberries and some chia seeds chia seeds is uh, high in omega-3 uh, so yeah i use them and then some almonds so I, I exactly use eight almonds uh, because I've read it somewhere that you should consume eight almonds a day and that's just stuck in my head uh, so I'm going to eat along with that and uh, sometimes if uh, I get bored of strawberries then I also uh, eat it with blueberries so that's the only variation that I try so that's about my breakfast this is a constant uh, so no change in that So at about so at about 11 o'clock i normally drink a glass of tea but i don't drink uh, coffee or tea with milk i normally uh, i don't like caffeine it's not uh, it's not that i'm following a diet or anything uh, from my childhood i'm not used to drinking either coffee or tea so i drink these um, non-caffeinated um, teas which is uh, either pumping pomegranate this is really good oh god you just have to um, brew it in for five minutes in hot water and it is yummy it is the yummiest tea that i've had and the next one is just rose this is very good for um, women in particular uh, or uh, for anybody actually but uh, for women i think it uh, really boosts your uh, hemoglobin and stuff so this is also about five to seven minutes brewed in hot water and it contains no caffeine or sometimes i'd like to uh, drink uh, echinacea so this is a herb uh, and it is like an antibiotic so if you have a cold like symptoms of cold and stuff then you can drink this tea but yeah you can also drink it uh, generally as well for uh, lunch 
I normally have a uh, rice. Um, so the portion that I eat is a bit less. I always believe in eating small portion. So I eat a bit of rice with uh, dal, that's lentils, um, or uh, some kind of like uh, sp uh, spicy rice, like you know pulao we call it, or biryani, like vegetarian. I always eat only vegetarian. I can eat a little bit of chicken and fish, but uh, it's quite a rarity because it doesn't suit my body. So I so I eat uh, either the pulao or uh, any kind of rice, but rice is mandatory for me. But I just want my carbs and. the evening snacks i normally don't have anything or sometimes if i if i feel like eating then i eat some pistachios or some nuts any kind of nuts like i normally like only almonds and pistachios a lot so i end up eating uh, that so sometimes i even eat uh, a snack called churmuri which is my favorite it's uh, origin is from mysore uh, the place where i've uh, born and uh, brought up in so it's made out of these puffed rice um, and uh, you just have to add in uh, ca grated carrot, onion, salt, chili powder and uh, a bit of oil and uh, lemon juice uh, and I'm going to uh, just put a picture of it and it's just mouth watering so sometimes I have it as well. For dinner, uh, I normally have it around uh, 7 38 ish. Although I prefer eating rice, uh, sometimes I even eat rice, uh, but a small portion, as I already told you. But uh, if I get bored, then I prepare uh, like akki roti, which is like made of rice flour pancakes, or um, uh, basin chilla, it's called, it's made of gram flour. Uh, it's also like a savory pancake. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make it. Uh, so today I'm feeling like eating that. Uh, so I'm it's pretty simple and easy and just one will fill your tummy and it's also very high in protein. So I love uh, eating uh, that. And most of the cooking that I do, I normally use ghee. That's clarified butter uh, for it. Uh, but uh, for some uh, things like, you know, if you fry a vegetable and things like that, it doesn't suit. That's when I use sunflower oil. Um, and clarified butter is really good for your health. It is It has good cholesterol in it. So it's really good. You should have at least a spoon a day. I'm going to be taking a bit of um, um, gram flour. Just take one cup of gram flour and then add two teaspoons of flaxseed meal. This is really good because it's a source of fiber and it also contains so uh, omega-3 and it contains antioxidants as well. Uh, and then you can put a bit of chili powder i like it spicy so i put more of it and then a pinch of turmeric so they say the gram flour creates a lot of uh, gas in the body so i'm using asafoetida that's hing to neutralize it just a pinch of it and i'm going to add coriander to be adding green chilies to it and um, onions I'm going to add it on top because it'll leave water so I'll just add it when I'm cooking it and then in the end I'm going to add puree beetroot puree now I'm going to start mixing it and then keep adding water as and when it's needed because it shouldn't go 
to uh, runny now you can add a pinch of salt so it should be of this consistency let's heat the skillet and add a bit of yeast once it's heated up let's spread the besan chilla onions on top of it for a couple of minutes just turn it around and then let it get uh, cooked for another 2 minutes besan chilla is now ready you can have it with yogurt or anything that you like like chutney powder or whatever you like so after dinner i normally um eat some kind of a sweet it can be anything literally so sometimes i would like to eat baklava you can see i finished a lot so just one each so that's it from my uh, today's uh, vlog i hope you liked it thanks for watching and uh, please do like uh, share and subscribe to my channel bye bye